Hello there, good people. What's going on? Uh, hopefully you're doing good. I'm pointing right at you. Today I'm very happy. Uh, I slept basically the whole day yesterday and uh, something really great happened. I'm a very uh, psychop- psychopath sort of sports fan. Our cricket team is the only uh, thing that's happening. Really good stuff. Like That's like a good thing happening in Bangladesh. And we've been going through some rough patches. Our team really won a very tough game against Afghanistan, but it was a very impossible game to win. So I couldn't believe we won. And I got like really pumped up yesterday and I just fell asleep off right after the game we won. So today... I woke up, it's now around 6.30, uh, not that cold anymore, it's 20 degrees. So I decided to do a couple of reviews, like one review and one uh, list. So this list basically is the list I'm doing after some time, budget fragrances, okay, 15 budget fragrances, random, not the all time best, like best of the best of the best. There are many other best or maybe say even to you better fragrances. I selected particular designers, okay, designers, affordable fragrance. When I say affordable, think of it like $40 and under, okay? And some of you will be like, hmm, $40 is not a budget f- segment. Uh, I agree, you know, some people, I cannot speak for everybody because I, I can just say for me, right? For my liking and stuff. Uh, but Actually, to get a decent uh, fragrance, which decent quality, you have to spend a minimum of 25, 30, you know, $40 is the max here. I mean, I don't think any of the fragrance will cost you uh, a lot more than $40 here. Most of them will be under $40. Most of the time, $25 to $35 budget. And these are the designer fragrances, not Middle Eastern. So I'm going to do a separate episode on that. And uh, I have picked some of the underrated ones and some known ones. If you're looking to uh, buy some fragrances, not that many, and you don't want to spend, even if your budget allows, but you have other things to pay for, you don't want to spend so much on your fragrances, these are some solid choices, okay? So these are not by any ranking. Uh, Check out my full-on review, and I'll just speak very, uh, like, short on each. So after a long talk, let's go one by one. So first fragrance, I'm going to show you after a long time. Paris Hilton Gold Rush Man. This looks like a budget bottle, I know. And it's uh, some people would say this actually looks very nice. This is very popular. This house is very popular. I want to get Paris Hilton for men, but I couldn't find it anywhere. That's discontinued, supposedly very hard to find. But her perfumes are very, very good. Uh, most of the Paris Hilton that I reviewed, they all smelled decent. And they are very affordable, $25 budget. You can buy these. This smells so good. This smells spicy, sweet, sexy. And uh, you can go liberal with the sprays. This smells so good, man. My, I mean, like, if you like fragrances, just in short, like fragrance like Bad Boy, you know, by Karina Herrera, or something like Stronger With You, Armani's Code, you know, a little bit sweet, sexy, spicy, um, like you know flirty fragrance you can try this very fruity too up to very sweet perfume with great longevity gold rush man by paris hilton first one second one i'm going to show you is from house of uh, david beckham and i haven't shown this for a very long time and i just have a lot of memories with it this is called david beckham instinct okay this one for the budget segment Check it out. It has a magnetic top. This is one of my first fragrance when I uh, actually was not a collector. I was just uh, in university. I was just uh, using some budget perfumes like Ferrari, Jaguar, or uh, CK. This was like Dunhill. This was one of my first fragrances, okay? This one, actually, it's not for everybody. It's a little bit daring. It's spicy vetiver. Uh, This fragrance has decent longevity too. This is an excellent office scent, okay? A little bit mature, like people who are working already. This one, you can look at it. I really want to try some of the other perfumes, but they are not really available here. But David Beckham is a solid house for me. For budget, what they offer, really good. Uh, buy these in discounted size uh, sites. I think it will be better. $25, you can score it. But if you go, try to buy this from retail, they're going to cost you $35 to $40, which is not worth it. This fragrance is very nice. It's very nice, bright, this can be a good introduction to vetiver. It's a little bit synthetic, but really good fragrance. Check out my review on David Beckham Instinct. That one is actually Celebrity House. Next one, another Celebrity House. This is a fragrance no one shows. I reviewed it. I absolutely love it. And this fragrance is from House of uh, Antonio Banderas. And one of my favorite heroes, of course, uh, he is an awesome dude. Awesome dude. Um, this is called uh, Secret Temptation. He has few temptations. Dark Temptation, I think, and then The Temptation, and then the few other ones, like different variation. But this one, the red bottle, caught my eye. I got this, is one of the, got this in one of the 
year end sale i think it was like 20 something dollars or 20 dollars let's say you know you can buy these and that's what makes it an absolute bargain because this one smells fantastic okay uh, this one is truly a budget friendly perfume you have seen the blue you know like uh, andrew bandres blue seduction the seduction line but the temptation line this is very nice it's a sweet kind of like a boozy uh, paris vanilla spicy mysterious perfume for nighttime secret temptation check out my review by antonio bandres the fourth one I'm going to show you, I haven't shown it for some time. This is House of Salvatore Ferragamo. And this one was basically uh, brought in the, under limelight by Max Forty, and I'm really happy I have it. So this is called Salvatore Ferragamo Oud. Okay, I think uh, something like, I follow the whole name. I think Salvatore Ferragamo Oud for men or something like I'll write down the names. One of the most beautiful, twisty bottles. Look at that bottle. It, it doesn't look like, it looks like something gone wrong, right? It's a beautiful structure. And I believe they had Satil and some other perfumes in this line. Uh, this one has, the, they have this bottle, bottle design. This one, this one actually was promoted by, uh, you know, the hype was basically, this one smells like an interlude, Amoj interlude, uh, the the new, I forgot, man, the early morning, I remember the name, the, uh, black iris yeah so this one they say uh, this one it's similar to that but to my nose it's just a spicy if you do not compare with it you'll be very happy but if you compare with amouage you'll be disappointed this basically is very nice spicy woody there's there's a westernized oud but this very nice boozy oud fragrance uh for the price what it offers this is hard to beat okay salvatore ferragamo check it out my review called oud salvatore ferragamo man oud i forgot the whole name because it doesn't say anywhere but salvatore ferragamo i think oud Number five is one of my favorite fragrances for casual usage, extremely long lasting, freshy. This is called Daniel Century. Absolute beauty, absolute delight. You get a massive bottle and you get a magnetic top. These bottles are just so pretty. It looks like kind of like a paperweight, very futuristic. It looks like a time travel, uh, I don't know, vehicle. <laughs> what do you call those? Tire time travelers, uh, space shuttle. Anyway, but this one smells fresh. This one smells hint of citrus, but it's kind of like a fresh, uh, not too much aquatic, not too much citrus, but it's just a clean smelling perfume, which goes a long way. It pushes, if you want to go for work, office, covers the whole day's work, okay? Very affordable, check it out. And they also have a blue version of this, uh, Century Blue. That is also nice, but this is longer lasting. Dunhill Century by Alfred Dunhill. Five gone, 10 left. I start from this side, right side. This is a fragrance I understand it's a bit hard to find now since it's discontinuation. This whole line is getting rare, picking up pretty penny now, okay? But uh, this fragrance, if you can find somewhere, this is the quality of this leather. If you like leather-based perfumes, try out Ferrari's uh, Leather Essence, yes. This is the most beautiful bottle from this line, hands down. There's no doubt about it. Even the amber one is beautiful, but look at the juice color, okay? This fragrance, if you like CH Men Privé, this is not a clone of that. It's kind of like a boozy leather. It's spicy. It's sweet. And the leather wears really nice. Mild cold weathers. It lasts a long time. Uh, but not as beast mode. Obviously, Ferraris are not that beast mode. But hands down, one of my most favorite Ferraris from the premium segment. If you can find this under $35, consider yourself very lucky. But it's getting a bit scarce. But I just want to show you the stitching and the leather in front of the bottle. This is a beautiful, gorgeous collection if you love the note of leather and booziness. And if you like style of CH Men Privé, okay? A Ferrari's leather is so good. Number nine, I'm going to go with the fragrance. It's also a limited time release, but I remember first time I smelled it, I fell in love with the opening. It's the most beautiful opening in any CK perfumes, okay? This is called CK1 Gold, okay? I think that's the name, and it has this melting gold like coming down on the bottle and you can see through the uh, bottle that for the juice level uh this one was not very expensive also 30 dollars you can score this i think you can still find it everywhere 35 bucks perhaps why you, you want to try it they actually apparently used uh oud in this but i i get like a middle eastern vibe from it but there's a kind of like a fig and there's also like something citrus there's some fruitiness it's just the most beautiful opening i just cannot i cannot like uh Describe it to you how beautiful it is. The dry down goes a little bit, actually it's very loud too. It's very long lasting as well for me, on me at least. Uh, also Ashton, you know, Jensen's, his sister was the face for this perfume. That's what makes it special for me because he's a friend of mine. Uh, I consider him as a good friend. So Ashton, when he came out in the open, I've seen him from the beginning when he started reviewing. From the beginning, I know his channel and I talked to him since then. And he's such a nice guy. So that one, basically, it, this fragrance is very special. Just check out this fragrance. There's no harm in it if you can find it somewhere, okay? CK1 Gold. 
Number eight is a fragrance recent times I bought, and I just absolutely think this is one of the best perfumes I bought in recent times, regardless of its price tag. From House of Car Company manufacturer Jaguar, it's called Jaguar for Men Oud. If you actually love, very simple, Gucci Purom One or Bentley for Men Absolute, both are gone now, both are discontinued. But you want to get a taste of that spicy pen- pencil shaving, uh, very expensive cream of uh, car interior or luxury segment, or let's say it's Jaguar Roadstar. This is a smell, expensive smelling uh, furnitures, okay? And it's spicy, it's masculine, does last a long time. Jaguar, you can have this under $25. It's not well known, but look for it, okay? Check out my review on it. This is a premium perfume. It's not old, it's a woody, spicy perfume. Masterclass Jaguar for men Oud. That's number seven, I think. Yeah, number s- no ten, nine, eight. Yeah, that's number eight. Number seven, bringing back one of the most hype perfumes, Mont Blanc Individual. I just smelled it yesterday after a long time. I don't, to be honest, I don't wear it anymore that much because I don't find you know occasion. I have so many other choices, new perfumes. Uh, so this one has been my trusted buddy. Okay, this used to sell for under thirty dollars. Now it's more like thirty five dollars. Prices up gone a little bit price are gone a little bit high but still uh it has that raspberry it has this kind of like a fresh metallic tone um some people compare this with great original santal and yopom they all are their own characters for price bracket if you want to give someone the best perfume and with a beautiful looking bottle with this awesome juice color i think this is being discontinued i don't see it on their side that much and in bangladesh some people saying it's getting a bit rare so if you actually wanted to own it get it now okay mont blanc individual 75 mil is the only thing that's downside but it's a nice perfume sweet long long lasting and projects you can wear it all year round so number six from house of calvin klein once again let me show you today ck all once again 200 ml of this 200 mind you 200 ml you can have in under 40 dollars sometimes 35 dollars if you're really lucky uh, this has a lot of juice in there, 200 ml, can you imagine? And this fragrance has rhubarb, some musky tone to the original citrus. It's a lot better than CK1. I like CK1. I love this one. Okay, this is one of the top three or top five CK for me. I have one more CK coming up, but this hands down is one of my most favorite CK perfumes. Uh, forget about the budget. This is one of the easiest to wear. I think even unisex, the rhubarb note is so unique. You will not regret buying this. You can blind buy this. You can gift it to someone. They're going to love this perfume, okay? And they're going to be very happy. Sikya All by Calvin Klein. So we have top five. I put them according to my liking a little bit. And these are all good. All these 15 are good, I told you. But uh, last five, a little bit more, uh, you know, weakness towards them, okay? Let's go one by one. I was talking about Calvin Klein. Let me show you my favorite Sikya Obsession for him. 200 ml. <laughs> I mentioned 200 ml because it's a massive bottle. This fragrance, a lot of memories. If you are a little bit uh, mature man and you like kind of powerhouse slash Western movies, you know, you like a little bit amber, spicy. Uh, I sometimes get boozy from this or sometimes tobacco. Absolutely phenomenal fragrance. This is one of the top seller, one of the most iconic fragrances, like uh, you can say uh, iconic and uh, Hall of Famer fragrance from House of Calvin Klein, one of the top five for me also this fragrance they used to use this in india to trap uh, the tigresses you know or something tigers is it tigers yes uh, because they are addicted to the smell or something like it very interesting story just for the story it's worth getting it check out my review on it seek your obsession for him number five number four popular choice bentley for men intense and the car manufacturing company which made a masterpiece if it was up to me i would sell it for 200 dollars. i would still make profit <laughs> okay it would sell the quality of this fragrance. There's a fragrance called Chambre Noir, I think, Olfactive Studio. I forgot the name, house of the name of the house or uh, the fragrance, but I tried it once, very close, and this is better than that, in my humble opinion. That one, it's very close to skin, doesn't perform. This does. This one is not a shy fragrance at all. For winter, perfect. Boozy, uh, kind of like sandalwood, leather. Man, good memories with it. Check out Bentley for my intents, a must have if you're a collector. Now, number three is a fragrance about recent times. I just want to give you a little bit of limelight. Uh, this one, the bottle design has changed a little bit, but you can still have it from House of Lalik. I'm just showing one. I'm just showing one, only one. It's called Equus, okay, or the horse edition, Lalik Purom Equus. So this one, look at the beautiful bottle. I have a small bottle here. I think this is 75 mil. Yeah, this comes in 75. I think if there's 125, I don't know. They used to have, uh, they have EDT and EDP. I have the EDT version. EDP lasts a little bit longer, I guess. Uh, why about this one thing look at the bottle 
the engraving on it. Now they have a cartoon edition of the bottle. I don't know. I haven't seen it in real life, but I believe they are the same. They say that's a little bit more versatile. This is a little bit more spicy. And when I got it, many people say this is like a spicier version of Gucci Purim too. And that makes me happy. I love Gucci Purim too. This continue super expensive, $200 plus. This one, one uh, surprising factor is I forgot to mention in my recent time is that the opening is like Victor and Ross Spice Farm, that pink pepper, the spices. That's what I couldn't remember. You know, like the opening of this is just stunner. Look at the sprayer, man. Get this perfume, okay? <laughs> End of story. You'll thank me later. Lalik Equus or the horse. So number two is a fragrance I bought in recent times. Uh, back up bottle, my, I have my two bottles that ran out and I just realize in this winter how much i love this fragrance uh, this one was hype long time back i didn't like it back time back in the days because it's lavender black pepper um, kind of cardamom and the people compared with language you guys know what i'm talking about this is called f black by salvatore ferragamo i bought a partial and i got a good good deal but these ones are now around 35 dollars used to be 25 bucks okay salvatore house is one of the house you should definitely check out the reason being these fragrances are so good if they actually were something like versace if they were something like armani people would spend that 70 80 dollars to buy these fragrances actually the retail on these are much higher but uh discounters you can find these there's a difference just check out uh the discounted size like fragrance x if you're in usa or some of your online sellers this is one of the best perfumes it has green apple black pepper i think there's cardamom it has this nice little bottle with the curve of the cut at the base and they also have Salvatore Ferragamo F and then Free Time. The other two, you can check them. They're also good. But this is a stunner. I love this sometimes more than La Nuit Alum. No joke. This winter, I sprayed it on me. I just think this one, if you wear it in the summertime, that's when you're going to make the mistake. It, it doesn't smell that good. That lavender pops up in the wrong time. But if you wear this in winter time on your skin, magic. This is like a 10 out of 10 fragrance. I even love that way more than Individual by Mont Blanc. This fragrance is never... Uh, like, will, uh, for me, it will never go out of my collection, okay? F Black by Salvatore Ferragamo. Excellent fragrance under the budget still. Number one is, I perhaps I think this is most favorite of mine in this whole uh, lineup because of the smell. This smells like a niche fragrance. This smells like something, let's say, Amouage would release, okay? And then people are going gaga and pay $600. That good. Perhaps not $600, but two dollars $300. That good. This is a boozy uh, version of Ancre Noir by Lalique. This is called Ancre Noir a la Extreme. Okay. If you look at the bottle, you know you love it. Okay. If you leave where it snows, you should check it out. If you are making like a little bit delay or being a bit lazy, I'm going to get this and some of the other Laliques later. Perhaps they will be discounted and gone. Okay. This is a fragrance you must try. I get that booziness. You get that vetiver. It's a little bit dark, but it's a lot more, you know. It's just so much more of a fragrance. It's not for everybody. Try it before you buy it, definitely. Do not blind buy. But uh, if your nose have matured, you have been in the game for two years, you have to get this line. The Sport, Original Ancre Noir, and this, even Ombre Noir. These are fragrances. Every single penny you like spend, you get double the value. Okay, so number one today is Alive Stream by Ancre Noir. Uh, this is just Lalique's one of the masterpieces. Okay, that's my number one. Thanks very much for watching. Which are your favorite budget fragrances? And if you feel like this budget is a little bit higher than your... Uh, what you define as budget. I'm sorry about that, but I feel you spend a little bit more, you get a little bit more quality. This has been uh, proven in past. Thanks for watching. I think I'll go upload this. Have a nice day. See you soon. Stay safe. Bye-bye.